These are randomly generated NHL players and I will be selecting 20 of them to build a team. For today's challenge, I will only be able to see the career playoff point total of each player. After all the selections have been made, we will assemble a team on NHL 25 and simulate with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. First things first, I'm not the realist, but we do have to draft the offense of this team. So let's do that. 19 playoff points, only two, and then zero. So not a lot here. Between these three players, there is 21 playoff points total, and there's one person that has a goose egg. They've clearly never been in the playoffs, or if they have, wasn't a good showing. That does not mean they're not a good player, though. Let's start off on the safer side and go with 19 points. Very interesting set of players. We have Connor McMichael in the middle. He only had two points. Sillinger on the right was zero, but we get a Wenberg. I'm down with that. Next up, we have 49. Ooh, 76 is very enticing. Yeah, it's really tough to turn that down. I'd be doing myself a disservice by not taking the 76 pointer. Ooh, all right. We get Chris Kreider joining our team. Owen Tippett was on the right. Lars Eller on the left. Kreider should be a really good overall. Yeah, he's sick. Yeah, here we go. 67 and 64. We got a close one. Not going with the seven. I think that much goes without saying. But for some reason, the 64 point person is calling my name. It might be because of the Nintendo 64. I cannot confirm nor deny. The player on the right, reveal yourself. Had some technical difficulties with the camera. Should be sorted out now. Jaden Schwartz, meh. Show me the money. 67 points again. Could be O'Reilly. But I'm still not going to choose him. I'm going for 28. Oh no, I should have taken the 67 points. Jake Gensel, Jake and Bake was in the middle. We obtained an Anton Lundell, solid player. Not Jake Gensel though. So far our team is Wenberg, Kreider, Schwartz, and Lundell. The league better watch out. That's huge. 180 points. There is no shot that I'm turning that down. We're going to the left again. That one checks out. And a lot of those points were probably against my capitals. But... He's joining our team, so today he's an ally. Let's go, Malkin. 32-31. Would have been cool if we had a countdown. It was almost there. 26. For whatever reason, my first instinct was to take the card in the middle, so I'm gonna go with that. Evidently, I gotta stop listening to my instincts. Blake Coleman is joining the team, but we could have had a Kyle Connor or an Evan Rodriguez. What is going on? What have you got for me? 21, can you do something for me? No, you cannot because I'm going with the player on the right, 50 points. And that's fire. We get Turbo Man. We also need to get to the Joppa. What's that movie called again? Is it Jingle All The Way? Well, it's two separate movies, but the initial one, anyway. 108 playoff points. This is the easiest selection yet. Card on the left, here we go. Oh baby, that is huge. We get Leon Dreisaitl. Amazing. Another very, Good number on the left. And I don't know... Yeah, yeah, I have to. We're going to the card on the left again. This is our first time on NHL 25. Let's make this team sick. Ooh, I am very interested to see what his overall is in this game. Patrick Kane. He's not the youngest player in the world anymore, but still very talented nonetheless. This team started off mid. We turned it around. And now this is what we get. You know what? Screw it. Give me the zero. We're going back to the left. I don't know why I do the things that I do. Jake Neighbors, good player, but he's not Mark Shifley or Jesper Bratt. Nine whole playoff points, followed by five and 201. That came at the perfect time. We've been going to the left a lot. It is time to switch things up and go to the right. This squadron is officially gross. Sydney the Kidney joining the team. He just wanted to follow Malkin. And this will be our final forward, 23, 0, and 2. Let's go for 0 again. Why not? That's surprising. Cole Perfetti doesn't have any playoff points? Yeah, I just looked it up out of curiosity. He only has one playoff game under his belt. All right, Cole, let's get it done. It's time to draft the caboose. The defenders, 19, 3, and 14. Let's, again, play it safe for the first pick here. And go with 1-9. That's very interesting. Kulak has 19 playoff points. Wouldn't have guessed it. I suppose when you play on a team with McDavid and Drysaddle, you could sort of just throw pizzas up the middle of the ice. They'll probably pick it up and get you a couple goals. 0-0-0. Zero, zero, and zero. You hate to see it. In my mind, there has been a severe lack of middles in this video. So that's where we're going. Very interesting. We get Simon Says on the team. Let's see if he says we win a championship. An Ovechkin jersey number in points is pretty cool. 
But will 21 do something for me this time? Let's find out. The last I heard, he signed a PTO, was it Calgary? I'm not sure if he's even on a team right now, but he's on our team. Tyson Berry, all aboard. Half of our defenders have been drafted, half to go, and we get two zeros and a 19. So let's go off to the right again, shall we? We dodged a couple bullets there. Cody Cece is the newest defender on our squad. 51 is pretty good, and it's in the middle, which we haven't taken a whole lot of in this video. At least, I'm under the impression that that's the case. Maybe I'm crazy. So yes, let's go for the obvious choice, 51 points. Oh, you just love to see that. You really do. Devin Taves is gonna quarterback this whole defensive core. And our final defenseman will have a grand total of... I can't even say either of them because then you won't know which one I'm going with. You know what? Neither of them. We're going with one playoff point. And with that, our final defender is Gene. Jake Bean. Goaltender time. We only get save percentage. 881 is a tough look. 912 is pretty good. This is the career season, not playoffs as well, I think. Although we don't know the amount of games played, we have to go with the 912. Oh, yes we do. Yes we do. That's your Demco. Unbelievable. I'm not messing around this time. We had the biggest drought in history trying to win a Stanley Cup in NHL 24. Not happening this year. We're winning it first try, 9-0-9. I am here to inform you that our goaltending is gross. Thatcher Demko and Jacob Markstrom are gonna be a deadly duo. I don't know why they haven't updated Markstrom's team yet. They should have done that. Well, how's about we go assemble this team and win a Stanley Cup? Here we are on NHL 25, and the Virginia Vipers are 90 overall in Division 4. Now, if this is your first time watching one of these, then I will explain kind of how I go about this. In order to keep all the teams in the league, I'm essentially stealing these players. So I go to the roster moves, put them all on an international team, and then I create my team, add all those players, so that we are the only team in the league with those players. You can see that Edmonton's 87 overall. Losing Leon will probably do that to you. So we have a 33-team league here with some randomized divisions. We are not the highest overall team because the Dallas Stars are 91 and there are a couple 90s as well. Let's go put these lines together. For the very first time in NHL 25, doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni, you are not going to be touching my lines. Also, what I found very impressive is that we were only about a million dollars over the cap. Teams love being over the cap these days. It's a new trend. What on earth am I looking at? They overhauled franchise mode this year to the max. This is weird. I'm gonna go ahead and sim up to the regular season because who cares about preseason? Not this guy. Conversation with Jeffrey Darby. I guess there's coach morale too now or something. I turned off morale meetings, I thought. I also saw that when I was creating the team, they have state and federal tax now. That's insane. Conversations here, any topic. No, I'm good. We should absolutely cook with this lineup. Are you kidding me? Crosby, Dreisaitl, and Kane? Ew! Kreider, Malkin, and then Turbo? And the bottom six here is even crazy. This is where we're lacking a little bit and probably where our overall takes a dip. Devin Taves, pretty much our only stud defenseman. He is six overall better than our next best guy in Jake Bean. However, we do have these two that can maybe bail us out. You know what? Crosby's just a center. And then Dreisaitl center slash left wing. So I'm going to make that move. Plus Crosby has 92 face-offs. He's got to be in the middle. He can't waste that. I'm going to say that Dreisaitl gets the most points with 102. No clue what the sim engine's like in this game. Haven't tried franchise yet. Clearly. We will obtain a grand total of 47 wins. And we're winning the Stanley Cup. Maybe. We have entered the calendar view and it is time to simulate. Starting off the year with two games against the Utah Hockey Club, and we come out on top. It could just be me, but the simulation seems to be a little bit slower. Currently, we're first in the division by a decent amount, but we're not leading the league by too much. I saw there was a couple teams on our tail. Three game skid. Let's break that against the Sabres. No? What about the Leafs? Seems like a good team to do it against. I guess we're just never winning again. Oh, I found it. I haven't been prompted for any kind of conversation, which is nice. Rodrigo Helm was not getting the job done in Dallas. Actually, when I'm recording this, the NHL regular season officially starts today because we have New Jersey and Buffalo going head to head in somewhere. I'm gonna enter the trade deadline just to see if it looks different, as different as the main screen did. 
Okay, no, this is a little bit more familiar. Let me know what you guys think about the new franchise layout and all the new features. I'm pretty sure they added some stuff to trading. I don't know if it's future considerations or something like that, but they added the tax and whatever. So for you hardcore franchise fans, let me know what you think. I am what you would call a casual when it comes to this mode. Actually, you could really argue that I'm a casual just for the entire game. If we win out, we get 50 dubs. No, we lost to the jerks and we lost to the Kings anyway, but we are in the playoffs against the Minnesota Wild. The stats on the right there are pretty interesting, and then you can kind of toggle through some things. We wound up second in our division with 102 points. The Flow Rider Panthers went off, and they would also go on to win the President's Trophy. We were fifth in the league. The Winnipeg Jets at 16 didn't make it, but Detroit did at 17. I mean, they had 90 points, so there's nothing too crazy going on here. How does that happen? Evgeny Malkin led our team with 97 points and 47 goals. What a legend. I don't necessarily want to change the lines because the second line is clicking. Teravainen had 64 points, 61 from Chris Kreider. You know what? If we're about to be eliminated, then I will change the lines. How about that? Until then, I'm trusting the process. Both of our goaltenders did quite well. 917 and 909, 261, 275. Very decent. Actually, what am I saying? 917 and 261 through 66 games? That's nuts. Devin Taves put up a little bit of offense, 45 points, and then we got 28 from Gene and 25 from Barry. Bobrovsky would lead the league with 43 wins, but Demko still had the better save percentage, better goals against average. Roman Yossi was exactly point a game. In fact, the only point a game defender, and he and Makar both have a nice amount of assists. Nathaniel Dio double G. 122 points. You can't be doing that. 64 goals as well. Pasta had 112 and 50 touchdowns. Reinhardt had 102. I actually kind of love this. It's like a decrease by 10 and then another decrease by 10. Oddly satisfying. And we have four players that finished with 100 points flat. You can still view lines, which is nice. I'm doing a little scouting report here. We definitely look better, which is scary. I don't like it. Defensively, they got us. Brodeen and Faber, unbelievable pairing. Spurgeon and Middleton, very good for a second pairing. They've also got Flower in nets, backed up by Gus Bus. Let's see if we can take them down. Everybody knows the rules by now. First three games, let's see where we're sitting after that. We start off with a holy crap, this simulation engine is slow. That's a good start though. Not ideal. Nice. As they cannot defeat us in the next two games, I will be simulating those. And we lose. 2-2. Oh no. So then the question is, what do we change up here? Like, do I take Sid off the first line? That sounds insane, but I'm gonna promote Malkin to the first line and just see if this makes a difference. We have our backs against the wall here. The lads have not earned a real-time sim unless we push a game seven. And can we do so? No. Well, that's disappointing. The Stanley Cup final is between the Boston Bruins and the Tampa Bay Lightning. I just simulated the first three games and things are looking nice for the Boston Bruins right now. Could they sweep? And they do end up pulling it off. Tampa Bay doesn't have words and they know you don't want to hear them. Kane and Malkin both had their guy. Eight points apiece. Crosby had seven. Dreisaitl, only point a game. I would expect more from him. Perfetti had a 23 and a half percent. How about Turbo? Nearly 30. Defensively, we were not great. In fact, I wouldn't say we were good. And I wouldn't say we were decent. And I'm not exactly sure what happened here, but Thatcher Demko got exposed by the Minnesota Wild. Jeremy Swayman had the most wins and a 916 save percentage, but still hasn't signed a contract. And by the time this video comes out, Maybe he'll have been traded, or perhaps he'll have signed a contract. I don't know, but the whole thing is pretty insane. Charmack had 18 points in 21 games played. Victor Hedman, 16 in 25. Kill McCarr was point a game, so, you know, he was carrying his weight for the team. And most likely, your Con Smythe winner, Brad Marchand, had 34 points in just 21 games played, was a plus 15. Lindholm is clearly enjoying his new home in Boston. 28 points, 21 games played. Pasta had 17 goals. And it is award season. Nate Matt gets the art heart combo intact roman yossi awarded the james norris passed against the lady bing celebrini taking home the calder brad did secure himself a con smythe trophy the vesna goes to demko so does the jennings masterton to pareko vance acquires the jack adams selkie to sydney the kidney love to see it so at least we're winning some hardware is it important hardware as a team? No. Nate continues to be a janitor cleaning up the awards at the end here. There's your playoff tree. Did not go to plan. I thought we had a really good team, but the Minnesota Wild thought otherwise. Oh well, we tried. There's always next year, right?